Everybody, Misfit Girl 66 here at Comet Palooza 2014. Today I am here with Milto Siralamu, who is Sirio Pharrell on Game of Thrones. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's a little bit early, but it's good. In Game of Thrones, Sirio Pharrell is one of those characters that really sets up many people's future, including Arya. So, did you additionally like try out for this role thinking, oh gosh, I really want to be Sirio because he's just going to set people's future up or did you just go into it trying out for whoever? When I was approached to uh, read for anything in the show, Nina Gold, the casting director, asked me to, um, I was sent a scene towards the end of season one uh, for the part of uh, Varys. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I read for it, and uh, they obviously thought I wasn't right for the part. I wasn't bald enough, <laughs> or, or eunuchy enough. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and uh, but they obviously liked uh, my reading, my screen test, and on the basis of that, they sent me uh, Ciro Pharrell. Now, up until this point, I did not know what uh, Game of Thrones was. So I realized, oh, this book is pretty, obviously pretty big. I should probably take this role. <laughs> yeah, um, but up until then, I didn't really know very much about it. The breakdown kind of said that he is a, uh, a highly experienced swordsman who is employed to teach um, uh, this, you know, this girl how to fight water dance. Um, so, that was interesting to me because I, I do have, I've got a dance background and I've got, uh, uh, I do have experience doing uh, sword work. Uh, I worked with the Royal Shakespeare Company for a number of years. And so in those plays, you always get the, the, um, the opportunity to play with swords. Right, so um, you had at so, least yeah. had some background yeah, in the and fighting. They were looking for it. they were looking for it as well. Uh, it did say at the, at, the, at the bottom of the breakdown, it said, we're looking for experienced people who know how to use a sword and it's like well isn't that illegal in this day and age we're <laughs> nah. allowed to be experienced swordsmen um but you know i did that thing at, at my casting when they asked me so you know are you experienced using swords and i was like yeah I was of like course on with a sword in my hand because that's what you do when you're act an actor right yeah make it sound great yeah, right you kind of front it so um but i was lucky enough to to get the part and and then I, I went on extensive training. When uh, they gave you the idea of Bravos, did you think of just somewhere mystical? How did you come up with that accent? What was your true inspiration for that? My dad and Inigo Montoya. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Now, that I works. I say that as a joke, but it's not really true. It started from uh, me doing a Greek accent, speaking English and English a Greek accent. But then I didn't want it to be specific because obviously it's a fantasy, fantasy show. Bravos doesn't exist in the real world. So I didn't want it to be specific. So people went, oh, that's just a Spanish accent or a Greek accent. So I just kind of like played with it. I rolled my R's too much. I, <laughs> I, uh, I kind of pushed, pushed it east. So it kind of has kind of like uh, hints of Persian. So I just tried to, tried to kind of mix it up a little bit. So it was exotic and different and and that's kind of where and I unique. started from. Yeah. Now, yeah. did you originally know when you auditioned for this role what Sirio's fate would be? No, because I don't think we even know now. Technically, no. <laughs> um, so we know that there is this fight and that uh, the last thing we, we, we see is him uh, with his sword broken and fa facing off Meryn Trant and uh, telling Arya to kind of like go. So, so we don't know, and uh, George Martin wrote that episode, episode eight. Uh, so I, I, I kind of, he had every opportunity to kind of uh, tie up any loose ends. But of course, as is his fetish, he didn't <laughs> want to do that because he loves, he Never. loves playing the long game. So who knows, you know. Now, other than Game of Thrones, I understand you've been traveling recently. What have you been up to these yeah. past couple of years? So uh, for the last year and a half, I've been working on a project called um, well, it's, it's a production of Midsummer Night's Dream, Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. And it's uh, by the people that created War Horse, which has been an, an international hit. So we had a lot of puppetry in it. Uh, it was a very visual show. And I played Bottom in it. So the amateur actor who kind of thinks he's brilliant. 
and maybe he is, but uh, he, you know, he's a bit of a show off. So <laughs> it's just an amazing experience. I mean, it's, you know, once in a while you get these experiences, like doing Game of Thrones, like doing Mr. Night's Dream, which you're like, you're so proud of. The added bonus is when you do a show which seems to capture people's imaginations uh, and genuinely has, you know, causes a reaction in people. People get immersed in these yeah, worlds. Yeah, and I think it's uh, it's really exciting. And we were, and of course, I love traveling. Uh, that's why I'm in Houston. Added bonus. Um, and so we went on a world tour. We went to Hong Kong, South Korea. Uh, we toured extensively throughout uh, the USA. Well, how is your experience so far at Comic Blues? Are you enjoying the convention? Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's uh, it's very well organized, very well run. It's busy. Yesterday was very busy. It looks like this is turning out to be a busy day as well. It's early, but it looks like people are coming. Uh, I'm, uh, I've managed to uh, provide things like doing, I'm doing water dancing classes. So, um, uh, you know, you kind of go, oh yeah, I'll do maybe one. I kind of got into it a little bit accidentally because someone asked me and I thought, yeah, why not? I'll do that. It's better, you know, like, as far as I'm concerned, it's great. You sit here and you do your signings and you do the photo ops and you kind of talk to the fans. But I thought it would be nice to have an added element, which is where they get a chance to kind of basically hit each other with swords. So who doesn't I mean, like that? Who doesn't <laughs> love that, right? But it's great and I, and I love meeting the fans. Well, perfect, well, we're, we're glad to have you here. Yeah, Thank you so much, Milto. So it was a pleasure. We'll see you later on at your water dancing you classes. Thank you all. Thank you.